This is uh, Bagua bear boxing. <laughs> Not bear boxing, I do have clothes on. The bear. Bear is one of the most ferocious animals, of course. He doesn't need much else. He doesn't need a lot of techniques, so there aren't. This is one of the shortest Bagua animal forms because the bear doesn't need that much. The female bear in particular is one of the most ferocious animals when she's of course protecting her young. The bear is represented by the mountain and its organ in the body is the stomach. So this form mainly works upon the stomach, hence works upon earth or ground chi. The bear's uh, family member is the uh, eldest son in the family. The bear is steadfast, is resolute, it can be extremely ferocious in protection of its young, but it can also be very gentle and caring and loving also towards its young. As I said, there's not many uh, movements to this form, but the movements that there are are extremely vicious and deadly. And again, it's broken up into eight separate sections that all run together, of course. The first section is called The Bear Wards Off the Bees. Now, as with all of these animal forms, we walk around the circle once in the normal dragon posture. Notice how the hips are going that way. The top of the body is turned in to the center and I'm looking right at the back of my palm. That increases your awareness and concentration of energy. That's why we do that in Bagua in particular. Taiji has a different way of doing it through what's called the reptile brain. Bagua also uses the reptile brain in the sea back. However, it also has another little way of concentrating the energy down so it's very, very powerful. And that is why a lot of people ask me, why do we have to look at the palm, actually focus on it when we walk around the circle? A, because it's teaching you actually how to use your peripheral vision. When you look at your palm, you look at it, you're learning how to see out of the corners of your eyes. So if you've got a number of different people, and Bagua does fight a number of people, it, it, it assumes the worst fighting scenario. If you look at your palm rather than trying to look at this one over here and then he hits you from over here. So the da 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 there there. If you look at your palm you've got all avenues covered by your eagle or peripheral vision. That's why we look at the palm. It's all done with reference again to the circle. No need for me to explain that because by this time you should really be well into your bagua if you're doing the animal forms. Notice how the left hand is sort of expanding like that slightly and the right hand is contracting like that slightly. So I'd be like that if I kept it going. So, but it's just, there's just normal standing. And now watch. Okay, so I've walked around the circle once in the peculiar uh, Bagua manner. Notice the rear heel is never coming off the ground. Big mistake people make is just to walk around the circumference. When we start teaching people in the beginning, of course, we just tell them to walk because it's far too difficult for people to learn this particular walking method when they first start Bagua. But that's mainly how you have to walk around the circle. But you should already know that anyway if you're up to this level. So we've walked around the circle, and this is peculiar to all the full animal forms. We walk around the circle once, and then we start the postures or the applications. The bear wards off the bees. Obviously, there's a sword of bee, swarm of bees, and he's doing things like this, you see. Like the lion posture, we step in slightly to the circumference and turn the foot in and the weight's going to go onto it and your left hand will do a little dip in and <coughs> strike out to the center. 
So you say you walk back, there's your normal short walking step. So you slip your foot forward slightly and slightly off the circumference. Vroom. Notice that lovely pull right up through your back leg. This is also excellent for the stomach meridian, which it's now working upon. I can feel that. If I were to go simply like this, no stomach meridian. That's what it works upon. Vroom. Now, I'll, I'll just show you this first and then I'll, I'll, I'll break it down for you to show you how it's warding off the bees. That last bit was actually the beginning of the next bit, but all of these movements flow together, of course, so you would, you would have finished it with the hands doing this sort of movement in the front. So to break it down, we've gone... Now, the right hand, using, always using the waist to get the power. The, right ha the waist is going to turn right and left as you take pigeon toed stance. You notice how my body forced me to do this and the weight's on my left leg so far. The body, I didn't just go like that. See how the body, the body will shake right and left. That's giving you really good power, good ground energy, you see, rather than just stepping forward. It brings out something some aggression if you like, or some animal energy, energy of the bear. So bang, you step in. Now, that's your footwork. With the footwork we get his big paw coming up and in Bagua there's only one fist and that's a tiger paw or in this case a bear paw fist and it's like that. So I've gone bang. Now, with the twisting of the waist to the right, that's loading your right hand. You see, I'll do it slowly without the left hand here at all. Now I'm going to twist my body back to the left and watch what happens to the, to the right hand. You can just imagine that huge big bear coming on, just going swipe with his big claws. Bang, like so. In this case, you just close your claws up and it's like, like that. It's a tremendous weapon when it's used in this fashion. Now, as that one's coming across, the left one will be beginning to come up as the right one comes down. Then the left, see, it's, a, it's like this, like a claw, claws coming up. And as the left one's coming down, the right hand is coming up and it's opening, and then it's coming down with its claws again. And that, that, that's when you've changed your weight to your right leg. Do it really slowly for you. Bang. Wait on the right leg and my right palm is facing right into the center of the circle. And that's how the hand looks like. You see that? It can be called a dim mac claw as well. It's the bear's claw. So we've got the bear's foot, like paw like that, and now he's opened his claws to attack the aggressor. Bang. To show you what that looks like at full speed. Now you notice I'm starting to turn to the left because there is another attacker coming over here. So I'm looking with complete eagle vision now, although my mind is on what's happening over here now. So I've che I, I know I've finished him off, so I'm, although I'm not looking like this, I'm still looking to the centre, but my, vi my peripheral vision is to my left, and that's the whole secret of Bagua. You're seeing everything that's happening around you, but you only look to be looking, seem to be seeing, at looking at one thing. Right, now that's light, see that as that right hand comes down, you're changing your weight and your load to the right slightly. See that as it comes down? I've still got my vision, my, my looking out of my peripheral vision here as your right hand is.